Hi, I'm Sarah Smith of Smithsoft, developer of the plist donator, plist editor for Mac, Windows, and Linux. plist donator is the small footprint, powerful plist editor for all of your plist editing needs. This is a how-to video explaining how to use plist donator for some basic tasks, and also talking about how you can compare plist editors to decide on which one's right for you. <clears throat> okay, here we are in Windows 8. I'm just going to demonstrate how plistonator works for you in Windows. So the first thing, of course, is to fire up plistonator from the Windows menu here under Smithsoft. But we're going to have a look and see what kinds of files I've got in my home preferences. This handy shortcut for it. So it's just going to do a quick scan and we've already found that we've got uh, a couple of directories with plist files. It's finished the scan now and here we are. Now let's say I wanted to change this entry so that I no longer looked for shared music. I'm just going to have a look and sh see what kind of file that is. So it turns out that that's a binary file. Uh, it's got five objects in it. The five objects are the root of that plist file and then these two keys and these two values. What I can do is just go in here and change that value yes to no. Now I could if I wanted to go and change that to be an XML file but I don't want to do that in this case because uh, the iTunes application probably expects that file to be binary and also it's just going to take up a bit more space. Now uh, just press the um, save button to save that file. And our job is done so we've actually altered that file. Right, when you're editing plist files on Windows, in front of you you have three basic options. You can use a text editor like Notepad++. You can use a XML editor or you can use a full-blown professional specialist plist editing program. Let's have a look at Notepad++ which is a programmer's editor. It's available for free. Now I've got it here looking at uh, a document. It's called com.apple.springboard.plist. I downloaded this file from the web um, after googling around to see what it is that people are trying to edit in the way of plist files. Now the problem here is that any of these XML tags, if I edit that file like that, that's still a valid, valid uh, text file. I can now save that. Uh, but that's going to be a corrupted file that Apple's um, iOS operating system will not be able to read. And it's very hard for you to spot that that's an error. However, if you've got a very small text uh, version of um, a plist file, using an editor like Notepad++ could be an option for you. plist files come in two formats. They're both binary and XML format as we see here. Now let's say uh, I want to mess around with my iTunes. Okay, I've got a big problem. Uh, this is a binary file and Notepad++ cannot understand this file at all. You can edit your plist files if they're XML using uh, a text editor like Notepad++. Don't try and use WordPad. WordPad will add line endings. It'll put smart quotes in there. Uh, basically, it's really going to ruin your day as far as editing plist files. However, you can get there with a top quality programmer's editor like Notepad++. Uh, I've downloaded plist editor pro um, 
which is made by Vowsoft. So anyway, let's have a look at Peerless Editor Pro and we're going to open some existing, we get a reminder. If I go here, click to purchase online, I'm going to get to iCopyBot's website where they, the actual Peerless Editor is $40. I'm going to go into my iTunes P list here. And it actually tells me that it wasn't in XML format. So P list editor pro is really an XML editor. Have a look at some text based P list files. So it's actually able to edit these without any difficulty. Let's say I've got my dictionary and I want to add another element to it. I can actually type pretty much anything I want in. and the value is going to be a string a string and we're going to save that by clicking here. All right, so we've modified a um, plist file. What's going to happen if we try our test here? All right, when I try to save it, it comes up and says there was an XML parser error. So that's that. It's on line nine, and I can go to line nine and eventually figure out that we've got a problem there. All right, so. Yeah, it's really editing XML and then after we're done, we can press save and it's going to hopefully find any errors that we've made with our XML. Uh, we can go here and we can edit things. Uh, we can view it as a list, but we don't really get to edit this version. So, um, yeah, look, that might work for you if you've only got very small files. Now, there is a very, very good uh, plist editor out there for pros. Uh, it's called plist editor pro, strangely enough. And um, the only problem with this guy is, of course, that it only runs on Mac, a $30 product. Now, I'd be a little biased. Um, but what I'm going to suggest to you is if you want to edit plist files, go and try a, a text editor first, uh, then try the Vowsoft product. Uh, all roads lead to Rome with regards to that product. Uh, it uh, is pretty easy to find. So give that one a try and see if it works for you because it does have a, a free trial that's going to give you a chance to see if it's actually going to get the job done. Uh, if you have issues with those products, uh, you can buy plistinator for Windows for 13 bucks. Files like this. Uh, this is our plist file. And you'll notice that when it comes to adding new entries, I don't have to edit XML tags. What I've actually got here is the, the full syntax of Apple's um, actual plist format. So if I want to add in a new key here uh, and tell it that this key is going to be a dictionary, uh, I can then add in more entries. This is the frequently asked questions section of this video. I'm going to cover three main points that often come up from users of plistinator. The first one is how does plistinator handle binary files? plistinator's implementation of the binary file backend is a complete 
clean room implementation in C++ of Apple's open sourced plist binary format. The binary format is well described by Apple, however its own implementation is written in C and is open sourced, so therefore any product using it uh, must also be open sourced. Uh, for this reason, a number of products that implement plist backends either use an open source version of their own or uh, they come to some sort of compromise situation like actually only editing XML files or using one of Apple's command line utilities to convert from uh, binary to XML and then editing a binary file. So in those cases, those uh, applications really are not binary plist editors. However, uh, plistinator does handle uh, binary plist formats according to Apple's specification. And the great thing about standards is it's terrific how many of them there are to choose from. This leads me to the second question, which is, hey, I tried to edit this file and I'm getting a message that the plist file would not load. This can happen for a number of reasons. Uh, big ones are that often plist files get corrupted, especially on Windows. They can get corrupted when an application crashes or alternatively an application can misbehave, it can have bugs. Um, we've noticed that some third party applications like game generating apps, uh, for example, uh, Unity occasionally generates uh, buggy plist files. Um, Manufacturers of hardware that are designed to work along with iOS products sometimes ship with bug-infested uh, uh, plist files. Uh, there's a range of reasons why a plist file that you encounter might actually not be able to be opened with plistinator. I'm very sorry if you experience that issue. If you do, please contact us and attach the plist file. If we've got um, an ability to open that file with Apple's own plist editing suite, well then obviously it's a problem with plistinator and we'll address it, you'll get your money back. However, in the vast majority of cases we've found where users have got corrupted plist files, it's also the case that Apple's very own native plist editing tools are also not able to e open those files. So uh, again, we're very sorry if you encounter a problem with a corrupted plist file. Uh, we do our very best uh, to be compliant with the Apple format, but we can only do what we can do when it comes to uh, corrupted files. The third and last question in this frequently asked questions section is, do you offer a trial version? Uh, we don't, uh, we offer a full operating version without any uh, restraints. It's not crippled in any way. There's no time uh, where plistinator uh, will disable itself. Uh, when you get plistinator for uh, $12.99, you get the full version. There's no upgrading uh, to any uncrippled version and you have no worries with licensing. We're a small one person uh, operation and if we had to administer a trial operation uh, for the software, we'd have to increase the price two or three times to what our competing products are currently charging, uh, which is around the $30 mark. As it is, um, plistinator does what it says. You've seen it here in this video. Uh, what's written on the box um, is that it's a small uh, footprint product uh, that delivers on its promise and we'll stand behind that. If you have problems with plistinator not doing what it says, uh, I'm quite happy to give you 100% uh, money back on your purchase. Having said that, um, most of our customers seem to be pretty happy with it and it definitely does the job and has some additional features over and above some of the competing products. So uh, I'm very sorry that we can't afford to offer a trial version, but uh, please check out all our documentation, um, the how-to videos and all the screenshots, 
and I'm going to tell you right now, p listinator should do what you need it to do. All right, look, thanks for watching this entire video and uh, getting to this point. And I hope you get all the things done you need to do with your p-list editing. And goodbye from me.